guys, welcome out to the shop today. Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. I picked up this uh, winch right here. It's a bad, a bad land, a 2,500 pound winch. And I'm going to be mounting this up for uh, our trailer. That way, if I buy lawn mowers and I need to uh, pull them onto the trailer, I got it so that I can just do that and not have to worry about pushing them. Uh, the other week, I was trying to push up a uh, lawn mower onto the uh, tailgate or the uh, yeah the tailgate portion or the drop down area and uh, it was wet and I slipped and the uh, lawnmower almost came back on me so um, I don't really want to do that I don't want to risk hurting my back either so I figured getting this winch was a, a great deal it's uh, 50 bucks and uh, it doesn't come with a mount and these two brackets right here are separate so this is uh, your fair lead I believe you call it and the the, the metal string has to go through it and then that's how it's guided right through there so what I have is uh, some plate I'm gonna try to use stuff just here in the shop uh, probably gonna weld this onto the plate I can always fabricate something like this later if need be for the rollers if I choose to uh, change it up but I want to try to uh, make it so I can take this off the trailer and also put it back on that way if I'm just riding around I don't have the winch on the trailer and don't have to worry about it getting taken if I go into like parking lots or something like that so the way my trailer is set up is in the front of it it has round bar is three inches I think or two and a half inches this is a two inch PVC pipe I started looking at it and trying to figure out a way that I could mount a piece on the top or on the back side and then put a bar through that way if I needed to I could fold the winch out of the way after mounting some, or pulling something up but it looked a little bit like uh, if something had, was there sticking up I also have a front tool bit or toolbox area that uh, I wouldn't be able to use wouldn't be able to fold all the way up because I would have two pieces kind of sticking out of the side or else it would have two things on top and you could possibly hit your knees trip over them whatever I don't know but I didn't really like having tabs sticking off of it for it to be removed so I think I'm gonna go pretty basic on this project and actually mount it to the floor because if I have a lawnmower or something like that I can pull it all the way up with a winch and most most lawnmowers are tall enough that this would actually just kind of go right underneath it or and it was it's definitely skinny enough to go in between the tires if it's a zero turn mower it would definitely go in between the tires and the deck front is nowhere near this um, our golf cart I wouldn't have to worry about it either if something happened with that and it died and I had to pull it up onto the trailer this would definitely fit underneath the golf cart so I think having it low and in the actual bed of the trailer is probably the best option so I ended up finding this flat plate right here I ended up finding this flat plate right here that we're gonna be using and I think I'm still gonna weld on the front piece and then there's mounting hardware that comes with the uh, winch so we got to actually get this raised up off of the ground a little bit so that we can actually get this mounted correct so the way my trailer is set up is in the front of it it has round bar is three inches I think or two and a half inches this is a two inch PVC pipe I started looking at it and trying to figure out a way that I could mount a piece on the top or on the back side and then put a bar through that way if I needed to I could fold the winch out of the way after mounting some, or pulling something up but it looked a little bit like uh, if something had, was there sticking up. I also have a front tool bed or toolbox area that uh, I wouldn't be able to use, wouldn't be able to fold all the way up because I would have two pieces kind of sticking out of the side or else it would have two things on top and you could possibly hit your knees, trip over them, whatever, I don't know. But I didn't really like having tabs sticking off of it for it to be removed so I think I'm gonna go pretty basic on this project and actually mount it to the floor because if I have a lawnmower or something like that I can pull it all the way up with a winch 
and most most lawnmowers are tall enough that this would actually just kind of go right underneath it or and it was it's definitely skinny enough to go in between the tires if it's a zero turn mower it would definitely go in between the tires and the deck front is nowhere near this um, our golf cart i wouldn't have to worry about it either if something happened with that and it died and i had to pull it up onto the trailer this would definitely fit underneath the golf cart so i think having it low and in the actual bed of the trailer is probably the best option so i ended up finding this flat plate right here i ended up finding this flat plate right here that we're going to be using and I think I'm still gonna weld on the front piece and then there's mounting hardware that comes with the uh, winch so we got to actually get this raised up off of the ground a little bit so that we can actually get this mounted correct all right guys first thing first is we're gonna be cleaning it off we got this benchmark abrasives uh, pad we're just gonna I gotta get some of this crap off right here that way it's all even and then we'll get all the rust off So we went ahead and got that plate all cleaned up and I've put the winch on top of the plate just to kind of see where I want it. And I've got the front guide area, this thing with all the rollers, up here in the front. And one thing that I wanted to make sure is that when I'm doing it, I'm keeping it so that the pins are in front of the plate in case something ever needs to be changed out, I can go ahead and change it out. So I've already ground down all the paint on the sides of the uh, roller area on the front, this side and also the back side. So I'm gonna clamp this right here. That way I know exactly where it's gotta go. And then I'll, I'll weld up the, uh, the sides first, just hack weld it, and then weld up the uh, front and back. And then we can make our marks for the uh, actual winch to go into. So here it is, here is the uh, bracket welded up. It's by far not a professional job. I don't claim to be a welder. The backside isn't uh, the best. I finally figured out uh, the settings on this front side though. 
I had the uh, wire speed a little bit too slow, but it's gonna hold up. Uh, this isn't getting like a ton of pressure on it to where it's just gonna snap off. And if it does, I'll just unmount the winch and then re-weld this back on. But I'm almost confident that that's gonna hold up. I can see that it's melted right into the material here in the front on uh, both sections. Same with the sides. Uh, might go over the back again just to make sure that's all beefed up a little bit, but it's on there and uh, it should hold pretty well. I went over the back side again and did another pass of it and turned up the uh, feed speed and went a little bit slower in my movements and it looks a lot better to me. Uh, I think that it's it's a lot stronger now than it was on the back side. So I'm happy with it. I'm gonna let it roll like that and so that's all welded up. Now we can go ahead and drill some holes for the actual winch. Okay, so after looking at the material I have and I have the one by one square uh, stock that I have, I don't know if my welder will actually weld that up together with this material. I think it's a little bit too thick. So what I'm gonna end up doing just to uh, make it a little bit easier and I can still take this off, make it a removable piece when I need to, is I'm just gonna drill four holes in the corners and then put some bolts through it and secure it that way. It should be plenty strong enough on the trailer with the uh, bolts that I have and I'll have washers on it so it'll all be pinched together around the two by eights, I think, or two by tens, whatever's on the uh, floorboard. But I think I'm gonna go that route, make it a little bit simpler and then if I do need to take it off, it's only four bolts. I can just take it off and then, you know, just instead of trying to weld that on, keeping the uh, space underneath, um, I'm just gonna, when I drill these into the, uh, or when I put these in, I'll drill the three holes in as well and just kind of recess the uh, holes in it so that those bolt heads will fit through. We are putting some red gloss enamel spray paint on here just to uh, give the metal some protection. And then we'll get the other holes drilled on the actual trailer. The paint is all dried up and uh, we need to get the hook through the, through the area. And it slides through like this, but I don't think it will go through because of that clip or where it's pinched together. So what I need to do is go ahead and take this snap ring off, slide the uh, top roller out, and then we should be able to get it to go in with no problems. Now we can slide everything back together. There we go. Everything's nice and tight back together. And so now that should be fine. So now we need to install the three bolts from the top side to hold the actual winch on. And like I said, we got all this hardware here. One, two, and three. So we'll start off by putting in this front one right here. And just let it drop down. 
And we got these two in the back. Then we can lift up on the whole assembly and we can install the bolts from the back side. Alright guys, I got it mounted up. I got the bolts in. These aren't the bolts I was originally going to use. The other ones were too short, so I had to find these longer ones. I'm going to end up changing these out. I want to try to find something different to use. But, uh, it's, I mean, it's in. Everything's nice and solid. And the nice thing about this is that it's got a remote that goes with it. So if we need to stay back a little bit or something like that, we can. We don't have to be right up next to it. Um, and it's got the three buttons. It's got an on off, an out, or an in. So if the light is on, there's a little LED light, that means that the remote's ready to use. And we'll go ahead and pull it out. And then you just push in to go in. Just like that. So the setup is really nice. I really like how it's all put together. I do want to change out those bolts though, but having this will help a lot when I'm going out and getting mowers or something like that. Or if something happens, I need to pull something up onto the trailer. I'm going to probably keep the uh, battery and stuff in a bag or something like that. That way it can be easily accessible. If I need to go somewhere, I can just grab the bag. If I need the winch, it's ready to go. Thanks guys for checking out the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you guys some ideas for uh, like little winches and stuff like that. If you guys haul mowers and stuff, you guys can get one of these and it, just a flat plate and I welded that piece on there and then I was able to bolt it right down. I wanted to do something a little bit more intricate and try to keep it set. I could just easily pop it in and out. That may come in the future, I don't know, but uh, but I'm happy with how this one turned out. Uh, I really like where it's at too. It's nice and low and it isn't gonna get in the way of anything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that little bell. That way you guys get all the notifications for when I post videos. And I post them on every Wednesday and Sunday, so make sure you guys stay tuned each week for those. And like I said, this is the first time I've welded in a long time with something. I finally figured that whole deal out. And I'm happy I did because now it's opened up a whole different uh, line of uh, craftsmanship that I can start doing. If I need to make metal repairs, I don't have to worry about that. I can actually do that.